Hey guys, this is a basic tutorial on how to use my tool, Gather ROM Tool GUI for rebuilding 3DS um, ROM files. So this is a basic tool for beginners, so if you're new to this, then this is where you should start at. So, now when you download your um, 3DS file from the internet, or, well, more better if you were dumping it from your actual 3DS, you usually get it in some sort of container like a 3ds or .cia file so what you would do is you go to strat 3ds or .cia and then you go to browse put this in here browse the um, folder you want and then you select the 3ds file and then you see it says position 0, 1 and 7 leave them all checked, they should all be checked with a not check them and then hit extract and it should go in the same folder as the um, um, 3ds file you'll see these files will come up here just wait for it to be done it takes a little while sometimes it looks like it's crashed but don't worry about it just give it some time there we go and then it's done right and then see all these files here and then what you need to do afterwards is get into the actual um, date of the um, game or whatever you need to go to extract ncch which is the um, container inside the container basically and I know it's confusing you must select the ncch file which is a cfa or a cxi file whatever and then you select the like the game cxi for example which is contain a game date or well, if it's an app maybe a 3ds it's like a homebrew app data then it'll contain you know, the Hobo app instead of a game, but it calls it game because most 3DS files are games, so that's why I decided to call it when I was making this program. But it'll be the app or the game day of one of the two. Okay, so I found out the issue with the um, app not working for me, so it's actually encryption error in the actual CXI itself. So I got a different CXI from a different app, it's, I know it's from a different app, but it doesn't really matter too much. I'm just demonstrating, but hopefully you won't have the error fix it, because if you do then you have a bad CXI file and you probably need to decrypt on your 3DS for it to work properly. There you go, so here's all the files now, so you've got the Xbox One of this, all these things. So if you want to rebuild the 3DS backup, note there's like a, a bug with this, where the size won't um, go up properly. Now, I don't like that folder browser dialog, I really don't eat for myself, but I don't have much choice in my designer, so it's easier to, much easier to like, just paste the path in there. Uh, it has your CXIs and then type in the game CFA manual or CFA. You don't have to include them if you don't want to, but it's always best to include the things that it comes with just for best compatibility reasons. Please note the name of the old 3DS update is case sensitive, so if you type it wrong, the application will break. So yeah. And then there we go. And obviously, what you do is when you're done also, before you do that actually, I forgot, just kind of forgot to tell you, you would rebuild your NCCH, so when you've edited it, you've edited this and you just output as edited.cxi and in here you can put edited.cxi instead of game and then it will rebuild it with the ed edits um, included and you see it's got a bug, it tells you in the latest version as well and there you go, see it's that's really odd. Oh yeah, because because um, size is small because I used um, a small CXI, but it's, it still should only be like about a few meg. It grows by like a hundred-ish meg for some reason at least. I don't know why. It's really weird, but anyway, let's delete all this. Let's get to just the CIA file next. So what we want to do is we want to extract first of all, and then put the file in. It's quite simple put up different path you want to so for example if I make a folder just keep things tidy you can like just make a folder and you random name or something logical will be even better and then you what we do is you click extracts and there you go and just extract a contents file which is also actually an NCCH so you extract this and then you press extracts there you go and then all those files are back and then you would, you would, like, say, edit something, like, I don't know, just delete the whole thing. Obviously, this will cause the app to crash in a real 3DS, but you do that, and then you'd rebuild it. Well, set a folder. All the folder contains all the folders. Yes. Rebuild. 
And you can just copy the file name of this if you want. And delete it. And then paste it back on. Just like so. And then when you want to rebuild your CIA, you just put the folder that contains the CXI file, which is this, with a content swingy. Just copy and paste this again, even though I think I've already done it. And you just add that. And you want to rebuild. Done. There you go. Example.cia. That's basically the um, basics of using this application. Just um, you know, extracting it and changing a few things, extracting the thing, changing a few things, and then um, rebuilding it. Now, basically, what you do to edit things is you use a program. You use a program called Kirimu. So this is the program right here. What you do is you do you go to um, open. Just show you basically what we need. Okay, so you go into your ROMFS for example, and then you would go into here. Now always it else said it actually. So we go with tools compression, Nintendo decompress general. Stuff you've got it. So go to ROMFS. Say you wanted to edit like. I have Viva intro, you go to that, you click save, and you'd open the um, decomp version. If this comes up, then just go to um, this cookie one instead, because uh, go to Karimu, cookies for images, cameras for like, archive files, which is commonly what some of these files are. And you open this, and then you can see here, well, for some reason there's nothing in here, but usually you would see files, and you, you would right click, you extract in, and you can place it after when you edited the um, files aside with this, you open that and pretty straightforward actually. So yeah. And then there's more tools, you can give help for H tab on the top when you click the how to button, you can these are just tools that are usually separate um, from the others. So just doing like one action like only re rebuilding the one my first or XFS for example. You can even work on banners by extracting and rebuilding them and then editing in between web application edits banners, I'm not really too sure what that is. You can even decompress code.bin manually if you didn't like check it like here. And then you can also apply patch file and then get advanced file info. This is quite a nice one. A cool one. You set any file you want and it spits off a bunch of info of, of what um, file it basically is and all the data and all the info and what, what, what things it's got inside. It's all technical really. but like seeing what that's about then you could do it so yeah that's basically it for um simple use of this application there'll be more advanced at all if you're not more advanced user so yeah coming out soon so yeah if, if you like this video then give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more turn on notifications as well if you want to be notified of my videos leave a comment of your feedback and what you thought of this video and i'll see you next time bye